I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, infor information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to speak on the subject of Lashon Hora, uh, malicious gossip. Um, we don't realize the power that our words have once they uh, exit our mouths. It's possible that a simple, innocuous, innocent remark can cause much havoc. And it reminds me of a story of uh, the holy Chofetz Chaim. He and a fellow rabbi were traveling on a Dvar Mitzvah, a matter of some religious significance. They were traveling a couple of days, and they stopped at an inn, which was known to be impeccably kosher. Wonderful. They stopped there. They go to have some food. The proprietor, she comes out, serves the food, and she uh, asks, is everything to your liking? Is everything okay? The Chofetz Chaim says, yes, of course. The, the food is wonderful. The food is fantastic. It's, it's perfect. The other rabbi, he says, yeah, the food is very good, but uh, a bit more salt uh, would have been appreciated. The hostess nods, goes into the kitchen. The Chofetz Chaim is aghast. He says, I can't believe it. My whole life I've been avoiding listening to and giving Lashon Hora, and here I am on this trip with you, and I hear it from you? And the, the, uh, the other rabbi was flabbergasted. He says, well, what are you talking about? What do I say? All I said was a bit more salt. Could have been appreciated. The Chavit Saim says, you don't know the effect of these words. What do you think is going to happen? You think the hostess, the proprietor, the owner of the inn does her own cooking? No, she has a cook. And that cook is probably a widow who's doing this to, to, to get some money to support her, her orphaned uh, children. The proprietor is going to go there and tell her that the food didn't uh, have enough salt, that she was careless, that she was not following the recipes. The cook in self-defense is going to de lie, deny that she didn't put in enough cook. There's going to be an argument and ends, ends up uh, the, the cook is going to be fired and she's got no means of support for her, uh, her children. And the, uh, the guy is amazed. He says, um, you know, aren't you taking this a little too far? He goes, taking it a little too far. Look what's happened. You spoke Lashon Hara. You caused me and the proprietor to hear the Lashon Hara. You caused the uh, owner to repeat the Lashon Hara, causing the cook to lie, and then you caused pain uh, to a widow, and uh, strife and argument between the owner and the cook. That's six of errors, six sins. That's not enough? The rabbi is saying, come on, you, this can't be. You, 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 can't, you can't just say things like that. The Chofetz Chaim says, no, you don't think so? Come with me. They get up and they go to the kitchen. They open the door, they go in, and sure enough, everything that the Chofetz Chaim says was coming about. There was an argument and, and with, between the owner and the cook, and the, the cook was crying, and, and she was like a, denying that anything was wrong. She's gathering her stuff because she's going to be fired. The rabbi feels terrible. He goes up to the cook, apologizes to her, and said that everything was, was wonderful. He goes to the, to the proprietor, and he pleads with her, please, please, you know, don't do this. And the, the proprietor starts. The the proprietor starts feeling a little bad. She says, "Well, you know, I just wanted to impress upon her that you know she should be more careful. Says, Please don't. Everything was fine. Just everything is fine the way it is. I just you know, please let's not. Let's have everything go back to the way it was before I said anything. And this shows you that sometimes you can't take it back. Um, thank goodness." The woman was able to keep her job, the cook. The proprietor was mollified. Everything was great. And the rabbi learned from the holy Chofetz Chaim a very valuable lesson in Lashon Hora. When you speak something that you don't think is all that big a deal, it could have a domino effect that, you, that never crossed your mind. We have to be incredibly careful with how we speak not just for intended consequences, but unintended consequences. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. 
please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.